Grandpa Anubi reporting for duty on the road to dark matter. And you can see that we are already well down that road like many of you already are. Today, the first video on one of the Black Ops 6 snipers. And we're going to look at the LR 7.62. First, let's have a look at the configuration. And here it is. Overall, you can see what I did to the weapon. I increased the fire rate about 40% at the cost of gun kick, horizontal recoil, and vertical recoil, which it's a single shot weapon anyway, and we're only going at less than one round per second. I mean, like a herd of wild turtles, that's our fire rate. But look at the damage. As long as you keep it above the waist, it's a one shot gack. Even at the hands, 102 up to 306 in the head, we can reach out to 76.2 meters, and beyond that, 101.6, we still get a 90 damage. The aim down sight speed we've improved by 13%. And how did we do this? With attachments, obviously. Here they are. The precision handguard barrel, and you can see that really does not a lot, but if you look at the other barrels, all we get is horizontal recoil control and a little bit of sprint movement speed. Everything else is a bit better with the precision handguard. The extended mag too. Now you know, Grandpa, I usually like to go out with only five rounds, but we're taking 10 this time. Does hurt with the reload quickness, but only 4% on the aim down sight speed. So that's not going to be a significant drain on this weapon to go ahead and carry 10 rounds. The quick draw grip, and like the name says, it helps with the aim down sight speed. Everything else is a bit worse to significantly worse. The infiltrator stock. Here we're going to do some infiltrating. The light stock helped a bit with movement speed, but it's not movement that's going to gack the enemies. It is the heavy fisted bullet that you're going to be sending through their gourd. The heavy stock hurts aim walk movement speed. The balance stock eh, doesn't really provide that much. And the combat stock is 11% worse than the infiltrator stock. And finally, the rapid fire. And rapid fire basically hurts recoil, as we said. Nothing else. And you know what? Recoil on a sniper rifle isn't all that significant. We don't care to add to bullet velocity because our insta-kill range is 46 meters. That's all the way across the map. Let's take this on to the shooting gallery and see what we got here. Of course, up close, it's going to be a GAC. 25 meters, a GAC. 50 meters, a GAC. And if we want to go all the way out to 100, in the head, it's a one-shot kill. So let's take the LR 7.62 sniper onto the field of honor, work it up to dark matter, see how it did for Grandpa, see what it did to Grandpa's often surprised enemies. Let's go. Now the road to dark matter consists of the military camos, the special and the mastery camos, military, 100 headshots, got to get those out of the way, all the way up to tiger, and then we move on to the special camos, the first one is the chaparral, you get 31 shot kills, that's what this weapon is all about, and then we get the nimbus camo, you can get those two at the same time, 15 long shots with the 7.62, there are long shot opportunities on many of the maps, almost all of them mastery camo get 10 double kills or better with the lr 762 on to diamond three kills without dying 10 times dark spine three triple kills or better with the 7.62 and then finally you need three bloodthirsties and you've got the dark matter all right let's get moving on this we're looking for 100 headshots so you just any map walk around and rage i prefer nuketown for sniper challenges because you get more engagements. I'll go on a smaller map sometimes or a longer map and you can see Grandpa's not getting a lot of gore gacks there. This is gonna take probably longer than the rest of the challenges combined unless you just happen to be a good headshot artist. If you like the gourd, there's one. Grandpa likes to keep moving except for on the bloodthirsty challenges and then he may do a little muppeting to get those final few kills actually for the dark matter three times five kills without dying really it's 
three times bloodthirsty. So I don't know why they didn't say there's a gourd gack. The guy scooted out, exposed his head very nicely, gave it up, and Grandpa misses a shot. And I don't know how I didn't hit that one. Can't see. There's somebody's back. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, there's a bloodthirsty one. I don't need one. And then there's a gourd gack. Looking for the gourd. Trying to keep the dot higher when I'm walking around about midway because the engagement is going to be not right in my face. If it's in my face, the chances of a gourd gack are probably not really high. And somehow I missed the leaping man. And there's the hundred. You're going for the tiger camo. So that's completed. Now we're going for Chaparral, 31 shot kills. I won't bore you with that. And then 15 long shots. You can also get that. There's a Chaparral, 30. You can also get that on the Nuketown map. You can see that you know, the spawn has changed, but Grandpa's going to hang out because I want those long shots. Of course, I could be running around, but running around doesn't put you in a position. And there's a longie. There's a long shot. 66 meters, that's pretty far. So Nuketown isn't all that uh, short. If you know of any other locations on Nuketown besides the sides for the long shots, and there's the Nimbus camo, then why don't you comment below for Grandpa. I'm wearing the Nimbus. Target ID. Still looking for long shots. i got to fight my way to somewhere to get them. Or wait, no, we got the long shots. I'm sorry, that was the Nimbus, so now we're going for the double kills. Looks like a double kill to me. Make sure you get the tags, because you want to win. Or oh, is there somebody there? Uno and Ghost. Bet you didn't know I was multilingual. There are two. Looking for double kill one and thank you two so this was the one of the easier ones i think the double kills with a sniper rifle it just takes time to get in the right situation there's another double kill see if we can get another one out of it one One, two, and there's another double kill. So those are coming along really well on this map. It's set up for it, and there's gold camo there. So now we're going for diamond, which is three kills without dying ten times. As I was saying before, the diamond's probably the easiest one to get. And I completed that. Actually, I don't think I was recording at the time, but basically just kill three people without dying. I mean, we do that the entire time you're getting the headshots anyway. Now we've got the diamond camo on. We're going for three triple kills. I thought it would be a lot harder than it was, but so I went on the smallest map there is, the one that everybody uses, shotties, and the person's diving around, the lady trying to gack poor old grandpa. There's one... Oh, come on. Two. One more. Three. And they kind of give you a little bit of grace there on the triple kills. It says double, but I think that one actually counted. There's a bloodthirsty one you don't need one. There's one. Oh, that was two, actually. That was a collat. One. Look down the hallway, two, people tracking mud, they need to be gacked, and that's two, three, no. Stevie Nicks there got me. One, two, the hip shot, let's see if we can get the third, Stevie Nicks is after me again. Nope, she got me. People were using so much smoke, I put on a thermal, that actually helped me out, I think. There's one. Two, three. That was a collapse. Doesn't say it, but it definitely is. That was a triple kill. Pretty sure. I don't know. No flash there. One, two, 
Come on. Three. Uh, that definitely is a triple kill. It's only got... No, I got all three of them out of that. So there's the dark spine. Now we're just going for the dark matter. We're got the spine rocking on the LR762. Five kills without dying three times, or really three bloodthirsties, and Grandpa's going to do a little muppeting here. Because the key is not to buy the farm. There are a number of spots where you can go to see some traffic out there. I think that should be three there. Four. Nope, that was five. So there's the first bloodthirsty. Same game. Looking for five more. One. Forgive me for being a Muppet. Hard scoping. Two. Got to hit him above the waist with the 762. Oh, that could have been three. Three. Just need two more from the second one. I don't know what he's going to be there. Oh, there was somebody. Missed an opportunity on that. Day late, dollar short. Still need two more. What I do is generally I'll rage until I get two kills, and then I'll start taking care of my life. Oh, no, 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 no. bloodthirsty. So once again, I miscounted. And that generally tends to happen. I get surprised by bloodthirsty reverse. Now I know that's two. Three. I can't camp any harder. I don't know. Oh, yep, I got a triple kill out of it even. Oh, when I get gacked by Granado. Grandpa eats a grenade. One. Two. See, that's a good place for double and triple kills, too. It'd be a lot easier if you could gack your own teammates to get these triples. Or five kills without dying. There's four. Five. Huh? Okay. A triple plus a double. Maybe I die. Oh, I think I died. That's right. I ate the grenade. So I'm only two, three. Five hostiles down. What? Well, there's five. And that should be dark matter. Yes, it's showing. So there you go. There's dark matter on the 762. It was fairly easy sniper, especially given the maps I used. Please like and subscribe. It helps me. Helps out the family. Let me know. What you think about sniping? Here I got a five point something KD from being a Muppet. Anyway, thanks for watching again. Cheers. Peace to you as always. And I want to hear from you in the comments. See ya.